Hi guys, it's Hazel here from Two Degree Gaming. Please excuse my voice because I am sick again. You'll know that if you watched our what was it? Our zombie game, Arma Daisy. If you watched Daisy, I think it was like episodes four, five, and six. I was sick as balls, and I'm sick again. Although that Daisy was like two months ago, but still, that's a lot of sickness. But uh, let's get straight into the news. Let's be we're gonna. Good few things, you know, I mean, two weeks ago there wasn't a lot of news because it was all just Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto, oh my god, Grand Theft Auto, but now, you know, there's actually some news. But uh, State of Decay has sold one million copies on Steam, thankfully. I mean, it's such a good game. I mean, it might. I don't know if it's buggy, I haven't looked into that, seeing as it was, you know, ported from console and thrown out there, but it is a great game. It is so fun to play. It's brilliant mechanics so you should go look at that it's on steam and um, they also said um, that they're going to be bringing out some DLC for it soon so keep a lookout for that Terraria has finally brought out its update and if you haven't played that either it's kind of like Minecraft but 2d and there's a lot more to it actually like you can have like I think bits that make you fly or like let you walk really really fast and it's just such a fun little game there's a lot more there than minecraft if it, it's a little hard to get used to at first like you know you're mining or you're chopping a wood and stuff but once you get past that and actually get into the game it's it's so fun it's such a good little game so go and have a look at that it usually every so often it'll go on steel on seam and be down to like for us like two euro fifty so it's probably down to like two pounds and UK and I'm not sure what that would be in dollars but definitely have a look at that they've also announced a Terraria 2 so we'll probably have more coming up on that I believe you will be able to transfer your old Pokemon to X and Y so if you worked really hard to get a Pokemon level 100 and made him perfect then you will be able to move him onto X and Y uh, but I believe you'll have to wait till December um, until you're able to use that feature pardon me use that feature some of you may know as well, uh, Half-Life 3, air quotation mark bunny ears, um, was trademarked. Although that trademark has been taken down as it was most likely a hoax. But I guess we kind of knew that. I mean, will we ever hear anything about Half-Life 3? You know, it seems that most big developers can't count to three. You know, well, we, we're not developers, but Microsoft, you know, they've, I know they have the Xbox original they have the xbox 360 but then they go back to xbox one that's their third console it's not their first that uh, doesn't make sense and you know valve they were going to make a half-life 3 but made episode one and two you know it's a little bit confusing it was also a trademark for portal 3 as well which was taken down and you know, these are most likely hoaxes. What I'm going to assume is going to happen is maybe when the Steam box, or I can't remember what it's called, but the Steam hardware that they're releasing with Steam OS, I'm assuming they'll wait till that's out and then develop for it and then bring like Half-Life 3 or, you know, the third game and all their um, titles, you know, they'll bring it to that. But who knows? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see because it doesn't look like we're going to get anything from Half-Life 3 yet. Destiny's beta access comes with pre-order so if you've pre-ordered Destiny and when you buy a, either a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One you'll get beta access. It's also coming to PS3 and Xbox 360 as well so I'm assuming you'll get beta access for that although it would probably be best if you bought that game on next-gen consoles. It's just a shame that Bungie claimed that PC is dead and they're not bringing it to PC, but who knows. Watch Dogs runs at 30 frames per second on next-gen consoles, which is, I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, these are these brand new consoles and we're just like, oh my God, new consoles, new hardware, it's gonna be so awesome, but it's only running at 30 frames per second. And I mean, I, I think that's something we should have been we should have been at least more than 30 maybe even 50 or 40 would be better than 30 because there is a big difference between 30 and 60 and even 30 and 40 frames per second does make a big difference but I mean with the new hardware 
why can't we see this? I mean, they've seemed to have put so much effort into the new hardware. Can't we get a little bit more? And I mean, it's probably not even running at 1080. It's probably running at 1600. So, I mean, why aren't we seeing that, you know, that boost in FPS, which is kind of a letdown, but I guess they're just trying to balance, you know, the smoothness and the visuals as well. Okay, so this is huge for me. Um, Rockstar announced that they want to make a Bully sequel. And if you never played Bully, you are missing out. Bully is such a good game. For like the past four years, I've been like one achievement away from completing the game. And I just, I so badly want to do it, but I don't want to finish the game because then that's it over. But if you can go back and buy Bully on Xbox, do it. It'll You'll find it somewhere. It's such a good game. I mean, you just got to be a complete dick to people and like hit them like with slingshots or throw marbles and make them trip it was so fun so if you get a chance to go and play bully go and do it and the fact that they're bringing a bully too if they keep the same mechanics but make them even better for new gen then um you won't see me for weeks i'm just going to disappear into that game because it's just going to be amazing killzone shadow fall will require a down pardon me a download of 50 gigabits which is a lot that's a lot of data like to download that would take me three or four days and furthermore shadowfall won't have a lock frame rate of 60 fps but i think if they can get close to it it'll be fine but 50 gigs that's a big file that means you can't get to play the game as soon as you you get it you know it's maybe they'll start releasing files before the game gets sent out but i mean if it's coming out let's look this up ps4 release date is november 15th in the us and 29th in europe and shadowfall comes out on the 15th as well so there's no way that they can start you know preloading files seeing as the console isn't actually out yet so i mean that's a big download i mean if you're buying a new gen console chances are you're going to have internet i mean that's the way things are going i mean it's not necessarily always online but it's just the way it's going a lot of these games are going to have good multiplayer and downloads so you're going to need online for them but 50 gigs is huge and I mean how big is the PS4's hard drive okay so PlayStation 4's hard drive is 500 gigs but the user can upgrade it but I mean so you're gonna have a 500 gig hard drive but with the OS on that it's probably going to go down to 480 so 50 gigs is a lot of space that's a hell of a lot i don't know how i feel about that well i don't know how i feel about that because if i'm going to go and buy a ps4 and that game it's going to take me days before i can actually play it and last but not least very sad piece of news tom clancy has died so rest in peace tom clancy he brought us a lot of games but at least you know we have the division coming out which you know it's his name on it and it's going to be a good game so rest in peace but yeah this is hazel for two degree gaming owen's going to catch up with you next week let me know what you think about anything we've talked about this week and i will see you next time bye bye